So, what do you think? Do I look like the newest assistant editor at Benton Publishing? Looking very fly, Mom. <laughs> Is fly still a good thing? No worries, you're cool. Go kick some butts, Mom. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Give me some. Mm. Love you. Good Love night. you. Mwah. Okay. Let's all have an amazing day, okay? Uh, I am so happy that we moved closer to my job. This way I can actually get home early. Uh, I should be home around 7. Um, maybe 7.30, okay? But it shouldn't be later than that. I don't know. It's my first day. Okay, you guys, I love you. Hey, do not be late for school, all right? Okay, we won't. All love right. you. Okay. I love you. Bye. Y'all, this supplies you'll need, and I'm across the hall if you need anything. Anything at all. Just try not to get caught in the curse. Wait, what? The curse? Yeah. Know what he told you? The last three people who had this office got the axe. You're working for the toughest editor in the company, Dragon Lady. Miss Warner goes through AEs like a knife through butter, and when she says deadline, you better make it or you'll be dead, literally. Literally? Okay, well, maybe not literally, but you'll be dead to her. Oh, by the way, um, these are the drafts being discussed in the meeting on Friday. Notes will be due by COB Thursday. Any questions, I'll try to answer. I'll know who can. Thank you, Robin. Oh, almost forgot. Um, Miss Warner wants you to come by the conference room after you get settled in. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Hi, you wanted to see Madison, me. come in. Come in. Welcome to Benton. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Sit. I hope you're ready to jump right in. Absolutely. I saw the first draft manuscripts on my desk. Good. But first you'll need to head to HR and finish your paperwork. I know, I know the salary is low. But we have a six-month probationary period to see if you're a good fit. You should know several of your predecessors weren't and didn't make it so... Try not to squander this opportunity. If you make it, you'll be made permanent with a decent salary bump. Any problems? Well, the salary... Good. Uh, we have a noon staff meeting on Mondays. Get familiar with the titles on your desk. I'll see you there. Thank you, Allison. Oh, one more thing. A reading list of books you'll need to digest. What every editor needs to know is a good guide for what I expect of my assistants, and It's a Writer's World is your Bible. Got it. All right, Mr. Alec. Now, look, you cannot blow this audition, huh? You need this gear. So, you know, don't, don't hold any punches, okay? Keep it, uh, uh, 100, right? 99 problems, but this isn't one of them. Okay, cool? Yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Davis. All right, let's get that out there. Let's All right, stand it. by. Quiet on set. Tomorrow, Alec. <clears throat> Here we go. Five, four, three. Good evening. I'm DeMarco Fox. And I'm Alec Darby. Welcome to Game Time Network's Hardballing. With the NFL season gearing up, we'll be delving into some of the issues plaguing the teams and the players. You know, you're absolutely right, Alec. An 18-game season is probably more closer than we think. Yes, but is that what the players really want? Well, probably not, but that's what the owners and the fans want. Cut. Okay. Stand by, guys. Frank's coming out. Hey, man, you know these owners only want more games for the money, right? They don't care nothing about the players. Yeah, but they do care about the paying customers, brother. So shouldn't the players be about pleasing the fans, too? Well, of course, to a certain extent, but not at the risk of their own safety. More games is more exposure to injury. Now, we call these guys owners, and they start acting like they actually own the players. It's not a plantation, man. More games, more contact. More contact, more head cracking going on. Maybe if we stop calling them owners, they'll stop acting like slave masters. Oh, man. oh, man, you're really stretching it. You know that? You know, these owners paid us more in one season than most people make in several lifetimes. And slaves didn't get paid, remember? Come on, DeMarco, you know as well as I do. These are nothing but a bunch of old, rich, white, fat cats passing their money down to their heirs. Meanwhile, not one black owner in the league. 
Yeah, but they made millionaires out of a lot of ball players like us. That's pennies on the dollar to them, man. They're raking in billions. It is money. real. Whoa, they made us millionaires. We earned that by literally putting our necks on the line. You know, I can't believe what a jaded, angry perspective you have on a sport that paid us both a lot of money. And I can't believe that green is the only color you see, when black is clearly the bigger picture. OK, I'm going in. That I don't care about our black players? Man, black lives matter, man. I'm out. Oh, my man. Come on. This, ah, this is great. And this is exactly what we're looking for. It's edgy. It's controversial. It's, um, uh, you know. Dope. Dope. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the Game Time Network. You're hired. Really? We'll get in contact with your agents, and we'll get your contract started right away. Hank Carson, I'm Mr. Darby's business manager. Now, Alec is just about to sign with a new agency, but until that time, the network can contact me, huh? Great. Great. Ah! Congrats. Welcome to the team. Congratulations, man. Looks like we'll be working together. Yeah, nothing personal. No, nope, just business, brother. Just business, brother. What's up? What's up? Hey. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. You just look mighty guilty for nothing. Look, just mind your own business instead of mine, okay? Princess, you miss me? Yo, Dad. Get over here, champ. Oh. Ah, I miss you guys so much. It was like you were never coming back. Come on, champ. You know your old man was up there stomping with the big dogs. My new talent is on fire. Look at her. That's her? Yep. And the reviews say she is caliente, spicy hot. Look at that. Fabiana Cruz is fab. As a matter of fact, that's what they were saying last night. Fab, fab, fab. <laughs> I am this close to getting her to open for a big act in December. Yeah? Like who? Somebody really big. You're holding out on us? Come on, Dad, drop a name. Come on, champ, I don't want to jinx it. But as soon as the ink is dry, I'll tell you about it. OK. Well, whoever it is, we want front row seats, don't we, Chloe? Yeah, we do. We can come, can't we? Of course you can, <laughs> as long as it's OK with your mama. Cool. Where is she, by the way? I got a big bonus on the road, and I'm going to take us all to dinner. Anywhere you want to go. Hmm. Yeah, Mom's working at that new job, as usual. Mm -hmm. But we can go. Really? I mean, yeah, I'll leave her a note. Come on. Sounds like a plan to awesome. me. Where should we eat? Um, That new burger spot is good, right? I heard they have ice cream and stuff there, too. Ooh, that would be so good. There we so, go. Come on, let's go. Dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Fab, Fab, will you marry me? Uh -huh. I'm like, really, bruh? It took four security guards to get him out of there. Wait, four? It's just one guy. Wait, wait. Right. Wait. How did he get back he there? He just through. So, it looks... I got some great news I wanted to celebrate with the family. Jake, it's not about how late they were. And I came to get you, too. But they said you was working late, as usual. Looks like this new job is getting you, huh? What's your good news? <laughs> My talent. Finally blowing up, so everything's starting to work out for me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now, maybe you can regularly pay some child support. Wait, what? You don't remember I just bought all those Christmas gifts for the kids? And I just paid the IRS bill for you? For me? An IRS bill doesn't even begin to cover the cost of raising a child, let alone two. Come on, Madison. I'm doing the best I can. And you got the new job, so you're getting regular bank now. Jake. Child support doesn't consist of a once a year Christmas time payment, okay? My bills need to be paid like clockwork, not I'm doing the best I can time. Look, as soon as I got home, I came in to take y'all to dinner. And at least I was here for them while you was at work late again. Don't I get some credit for that? Credit? For dinner and spending time with your children, really? You're a. 
you're unbelievable. You know what? It's time for you to go. And do me a favor, when you want to come over, please give me some warning, because I need to prepare myself before I see you. Wow. <sighs> Fine. But you should look in the mirror the next time our kids wonder why they don't see their father more often. I'll get that. Thank you, baby. I'm coming. Hey, baby. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, honey. You've been so busy, I can barely get a hold of you on the phone. Is that why you decided to pop by? Exactly. We need to catch up. I want to hear all about this new job. So we're going to have some dinner, a few drinks, and spill all the tea. <sighs> I don't know, Lainey. It's been a rough week. I was just thinking about sleeping it off and maybe getting through a manuscript or two. Work, work, and work. All you do is work. Well, that's because my boss is tough as nails and I have six months to prove myself or I'm out. All the more reason you need a break. It's Saturday, girl. Let's kick it. We're way overdue. I'm not taking no for an answer. If you get not these rags, then we're gonna get you into something pop. So that's your cousin, right? That's, that's your relative. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know, I thought you almost blew it in there. You know, you might want to take it easy on Mr. DeMarco Fox. Huh? I'm not sure he's up to your verbal acumen. Yeah, I know things got a little bit heated, but did you see him leaning all over Frank like he was? <laughs> Man, I need to stop sucking up and start spitting a little more truth. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Can you at least try to get along with your co-star just a little bit, huh? Well, I could try. Okay. okay. But you see, the network likes it when I go hard. You remember the man said I was dope. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like this job is tailor-made for you, cuz of. So you finally get off all that crazy steam <laughs> and not get fired for a change. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't know about all of that. <laughs> you might want to take it easy in there. Hey, excuse me. Can we get a bottle of your best champagne for the table? We're celebrating, man. Uh, uh, excuse me. Can, can we see your wine list, please? Maybe you have a reasonably priced bottle of Prosecco on there. What? Come on, you might want to take it a little easier, at least to the check stop. Is it possible? Is it possible for you to just chill out one time, let me drive the bus? Your best bottle, man. Come on, I'm back in business. <sighs> Look, I'm just saying, you might want to pay off a few of those bills first before you start splurging, huh? I mean, you do have a tendency to blow a good thing. Well, uh, speaking of a good thing, look who's on the town. <laughs> Hey, Madison. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> Come on, join us. We would love to join you, wouldn't we, Madison? We're about to order dinner. Come on. Yeah, OK. I think we can all fit. No, we, we, can, we can definitely. We can definitely fit. And we can definitely use some fine at this table. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I know I look good. I'm just, I'm whatever. You know that? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, you know, I'm a handsome brother. I don't know that you <laughs> Wow, Madison. I haven't talked to you since you started your new job. How's it going? Oh, yeah, um, I've been meaning to reach out. Thank you so much for those beautiful flowers. I'm sorry, it's been crazy. Oh, no problem. You remember my cousin Rex? Yeah, of My course. business manager, Hank. Hey, hey, Hank, it's good to see you. Oh, I don't think you ever met my best friend, Lainey. No. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for inviting us over. Absolutely. You know, There's a party going on now. Yes, sir. <laughs> we celebrating Alec's new job. What? Congratulations, tell me. Uh, well, I'm co-hosting a sports talk show on the new Game Time Network. Wow. Yes, sir. You know, he auditioned and they hired his old, ornery, over-opinionated butt right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, call it what you want to, but apparently my old, ornery, over-opinionated butt is exactly what they were looking for. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, cheers. It looks like we're both starting a new adventure. Yeah, it does. You're still awake? Mm-hmm. I was uh, waiting for you, so I decided to do some dishes. Did you and Lainey have a good time? Ah, <sighs> we had a great time. <laughs> I really needed to get out. And I have a sneaking suspicion that you and your brother are somehow responsible. <laughs> well, maybe a little. 
Okay, we called Lainey. Are you mad? No. But is that why you're still up? Checking on your grown mother? No. There's actually something I need to talk to you about. Okay. My teacher recommended me for a very special opportunity. Really? Okay, what opportunity? Actually, it's a class, but a photography class with Althea Avent. You know, Mom, like, the Althea Avent, the world-class photographer. Yes, sweetheart, I know who she is. Mom, she shoots all over the world from civil protests, disasters, police brutality, humanitarian crisis. Her portfolio documents the history of our lives in real time. Okay, okay, slow down. Mom, Mom, she's it. Don't you see it? She's a warrior on the front line of injustice, and that's what I want to do. She only accepts five students once a year, and Mrs. Parks recommended me. Please, Mom. Okay, Chloe, I can see how excited you are, but I need more information. When is this class? Is it during school hours? Is it after school? Is there a cost involved? Well, it's twice a week for two hours after school. <laughs> and, uh... And? It's $300 a week for five weeks. $1,500. But she's willing to let us put a down payment on it and then pay the rest at two fifty dollars a week. And I can help pay for it with the money I saved for my job, too. Chloe, I really wish I could say yes, but this is a critical time, and you really need to be focused on your grades right now. But this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And as it is, we need to save every penny and pray that those scholarships okay, we applied Mom, for come in. Please. Please. Chloe, don't you get it? We just don't have it. Okay. Forget it. This sucks. I can't believe you. Watch your tone. You should have seen her face when I told her no. It was heartbreaking. I mean, I'm sure Chloe understands. I love my new job, but it's a struggle making it through this probationary period for the next few months. As it is, I need to make more money just to pay my bills. Never mind trying to save money for Chloe's college education. I mean, Chloe's got good grades. She'll probably get a full ride with all the scholarships she applied for. Speaking of rides, I have to get mine. You still drive a ride chair? Yes, girl, I gotta pay the bills. Mm. All, right. all right, good seeing you. Bye. working on weekends to make a little extra money. Man, you're probably the hardest working woman I know. Yeah, well, you do what you gotta do. I know that's right. Mm. We be finding all these jobs. <laughs> <laughs> These teams are bringing in millions of dollars a year for these schools. How the coaches make five, ten million dollars. The kids get nothing, not a dime. You don't think they should get something? I mean, but they are getting something, right? I mean, they, they're getting the biggest audition of their lives to go pro. Not to mention scholarships. Okay, so you're saying it's cool for the school, the network, the stadium, the concession stand, the coaches, hell, everybody to make money off these kids' names, likenesses, and images? I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm happy that California has made a move and is changing things in their state. It's gonna force the NCAA to follow suit. They're gonna make a law to start paying these kids. Well, look, the good players will get a chance to make millions if they show out. Simple. But what about the ones that don't go pro? They all deserve to make something. It's got to be time for pay to play for these athletes. OK, OK, there you go with that again. Man, they're just students. <laughs> they got their whole lives to get paid. If they go pro, if they don't get hurt first. DeMarco, these kids are the show. Once again, you're on the wrong side of the business. No, I'm on the side of the engine that makes everything go. These revenue generating sports can start generating some revenue their way, too. But it looks like I'm going to have to beat the stupid off of you another day because we are out of time. Calling me stupid? Well, stupid is never being able to see anyone else's side but your own. I'm DeMarco Fox. And I'm Alec Darby, and the only side that counts is the right one when you're hardballing. Cut. OK, that's a wrap. Hey, man, don't be calling me stupid on air. Don't be stupid on air. Yo, guys, yeah. you about right? Excuse me, Mr. Darby, Mr. Fox, you're doing post for voiceover? What, that's today? Yep, it's on your schedule. Yeah, I, I'm on my way to change it. Oh, and don't forget, you have an early call tomorrow for your promo sheet. That's right. Thanks, Joey. You got it. This looks like you don't got time for the game tonight or nothing. Hey. 
Thumbs up. You're still up? Yeah. I'm sorry I'm late. I see you heated up the uh, meatloaf I left for you and Chloe. Yeah, it was pretty good. I was just going to bed. Oh, okay. Good night. night. Love you. Love you too. Hello? Hey, Madison. How's it going? I hope I'm not calling you too late. <laughs> well, this is a pleasant surprise. No, actually, I just got in. Good, good. Listen, it was great seeing you the other night. Appreciate you celebrating with us. Oh, the pleasure was ours. Yeah, well, it got me thinking about something that you might be able to help me out with. Really? How so? Well, that job I told you about has gotten pretty hectic, and I'm wondering if you know somebody looking for part-time work. I need somebody to help manage my schedule, stay organized. You know as well as anybody, being on top of details is not my strong suit. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. So what do you say? You know anybody that's sharp and smart like you? That can work evenings and weekends like you? Alec. Hey, what about you? Um, yeah, I don't think so. Listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. I understand you're busy with your day job, and I respect that. I just need a couple hours a night. Listen, I appreciate the offer, but... Before you say no, do me a favor. Just sleep on it, and let's meet for coffee in the morning. We can talk about it. At the very least, you get a free cup of coffee. Come on. Okay. Okay, but no promises. All right, great. I'll text you in the morning. All right. Good night. I really need to get her back working for us. Big and ain't your strong suit either. Good morning, how are you? Hey, hey, you're early. You're late. Ah, oh, well, I guess that just depends on how you look at it. Hey, can I get a black coffee, please? Thank you. I really, really want you to consider this offer. I can seriously use your help again. Did Rex put you up to this? Rex? I know he told you I was his driver yesterday. Uh, OK, maybe he kind of probably definitely did tell me about it. But so what? I really need your help. And you can really use the work, right? Besides, most of the stuff I'm asking you to do, like manage my schedule, you can do from home. Yeah, but. No, no, no but. Win-win, right? Come on, Madison, why is this so hard? Help me out. Come on, let's put the band back together. <laughs> well, I am feeling a little more confident at work. Yeah, see? And listen, what I'm suggesting is instead of you know, driving strangers around, come work for me. It's much better. OK, if I'm going to do this, I need to establish some ground rules. Some ground rules? Uh, OK. Thank you. Thanks. I need a completely flexible schedule. I can work for you after I get off my job during the week and Saturday mornings, but never Saturday afternoons because I'm at the children's home, and also never Sundays. And I need a guaranteed weekly salary, not an hourly rate. <sighs> Sometimes I have to tell you to knock first. Where did you get all that money? None of your business. You better believe it's my business if you stole it. Did you get all that money from the change star? No. Did you get all that money from the change star? Okay, I bought a little change. A little change? A little change for what? Mom already gives you money for lunch and bus money. What are you up to? Do you need some kind of help? Look, it's personal, so don't be ratting me out the money. Trust me, I won't have to. You already got my cleaning? Yeah, well, it was on your list, and plus I was going that way. 
and your dry cleaners remembered me from before, so. Anyway. Wow. I really like your new place. Yeah, you know, I didn't need all that penthouse space when I was out of work, so I just moved downstairs. It's not as big, but it still fits, though, so. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, so back to your list. In order to complete it, I'm gonna need access to your work email. Um, this way I can stay on top of your meetings, your appointments, your travel, um, and also update your calendar. I need them to CC me on your call sheets. And if you'll put me in touch with GTN's publicist, I can coordinate with them directly all of your interviews, personal appearances, promo shoots. Okay, I see you picking up the ball, but you can slow walk it across the line. You don't have to rush. Okay, okay, but I have a feeling you're gonna need me to get busy sooner rather than later. Um, and aren't you running behind on a location shoot? Oh, wow, yeah. Thank you. Got just enough time to grab a cab. Alec? Yeah? Car's waiting for you out front. Your driver's name is Bundy. See, this is what I told you. I need you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Lady's on the warpath. She's had a bad weekend. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed with a headache. She's already ripped into her secretary and the receptionist. Hope you got your notes ready for the meeting. Yeah, I do actually. They're printed right here. Thanks for the heads up. Just saying. Madison, I need your notes before the nooner. We need to go over them before you waste everybody's time in the meeting. My office. Now. Glad you're still here. Sorry, I just I had to finish that note. What's on here? Uh, fan mail. Probably hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's probably a little bit of both, if you ask me. And um, PR sent over my social media accounts and passwords and stuff like that. They wanted me to go over their suggested answers, but I thought maybe you could help me make it a little more personal. Uh, okay, but how would I know what to say? Well, you know me as well as anybody. I trust your instincts. Let's go for it. Okay. That sounds like it could be, uh, it could be fun. But, um, there's a few things I need to go over with you. Okay, but can we talk about that later? Come on. You deserve a break. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So how's that uh, day job going? You still liking it? Oh my God. Actually, I love it. Even though I have a really tough boss. What? Tougher than me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't like that one bit. You gotta get tougher. <laughs> yeah, well, um, but you know, I have a lot to learn and it's a, cheers, it's a challenge. Um, and I love to read, and there's a lot of reading. You know, I really admire you. I don't know how you do it all. Do you ever just relax? Truthfully? Chloe is this close to college, you know? Just a year away, and Jackie's not too far behind her, and... Unfortunately, I can't really count on my ex-husband for help, so I can't really afford to relax. Yeah, what about fun? You ever make time for fun? I just have to stay focused. I don't really have another choice. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes those other choices I'm right there in front of you. You know what? Um, we probably shouldn't do this because uh, 
I mean, we have a really great working relationship. I mean, don't you think so? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, and you know, I, I, it should probably just stay that way because we are terrific together. I mean, you know, not together together, but terrific apart. And uh, yeah, it is, it's getting really late, so I'm gonna run home. Thank you for the wine, it was yummy. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, good night, thank you. <sighs> okay, bye. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Chloe, Jackie, can you come out here, please? What's going on? Who's taking the coins? Did you think I wouldn't notice? They've been disappearing every day, and now look. Now, if you need something, you should ask me. But this is our emergency stash, and we all contribute to it, so we all should have a say in how it gets spent. So what's up? It was me. I've been taking it. Chloe, don't you still have your online photography job? Where's your paycheck going? Chloe, just I put mind. it all down on the Alpha Advent class. You what? I needed change for lunch and bus money, but I was gonna put it back. I promise. I can't believe you would defy me like this. But I didn't, I paid for it myself. We agreed that we were gonna put every penny towards your college education. Mom, I just had to take this class, and she says I could pay $50 a week until I pay it off. And the extra credit and experience will help on my college applications, and she said she'll even give me a recommendation if I do well. Mom, look. Jackie, stop. Just but mom, this. I'm. Jackie, give it a minute. How far has this gone, Chloe? Well, I had three hundred dollars saved up, and I used it on the down payment, and then I spent fifty dollars this week and last week. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Mom, please, just let me stay in this class, please. I've learned so much already. Chloe, you went behind my back when I explicitly told you no. You're grounded. Go to your room. Grounded? At least let me finish the class or I'll lose all the money I already You let me worry about that. Now do what I'm asking you to do this time. Go to your room. Yeah. No, I mean, he definitely wants to do the show. It's just he's only available on the 3rd or the 10th. Do either of those dates work for you? Perfect. OK, yeah. Yeah, I will send you an email right away. Thanks so much. OK, bye. Well, so you came back. Why wouldn't I come back? What'd you expect? I wouldn't leave you if you need me. Well, I mean, the way you ran out the other night, you never know. Guess I don't deal well with rejection. Alec, I didn't reject you, so can you just put your big ego away and let's get back to work? Look, I don't have a big ego. Okay, it's just fragile, apparently. Anyway, um, I've rescheduled the morning show for the 10th. Does that work for you? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll get it. I, excuse me, but the doorman told me that this was Alec Darby's new apartment. Who are you? How can I help you? This is Alec Darby's place, isn't it? There you are, baby. I've missed you so much. Shelly. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Well, aren't you happy to see me? I'm glad the doorman remembered me or I would have been knocking on someone else's door. I see that you've uh, downsized. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Um, this is my business associate, Madison. Madison, this is my ex fiance Shelly. St. John. Business associate, really. Would you be a dear and give us some privacy? Mr. Darby and I, we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, sure, no problem. Alec, we can finish your schedule tomorrow. Wait, wait, Madison, wait. You, you, you have to leave, don't leave. Let her go, baby. She understands.
Have at it, baby. Hey, Chloe. Can we talk? No. Go away, Jackie. No, look, it's not fair for you to take the blame for something I did. I'm telling Mom the truth. No, when she stop. Gets home. Just let it go. She's not even gonna let me take the class anyway, and that's all that matters. But that's not fair. You're not. Jackie, the please, why I... just let it go. Get out. Did you miss me, baby? I sure missed you. Really? When? When, after you ran out on me and our engagement, did you start missing me? <laughs> Alec, I couldn't bear to watch you go through all that pain. It was breaking my heart. And I was afraid that my being around was just going to make you feel sorry for yourself. You understand, don't you? What I understand is that when I was hurt and when I was released, you couldn't get out of here fast enough. That's what I understand. <sighs> okay. I know it seemed bad, but I just didn't want to be a burden on you. Hey, I searched my heart, and I realized how much I love you. I never should have left like that. So what about all the tabloid buzz I've been hearing about you and Mr. MVP? Something happened with Bo Manning? He's still in the league. Don't even mention Bo Manning to me. He's an abusive monster. Are you trying to say he's hitting you? Especially when they lost. He would come home and take it out on me. Because of a game? <laughs> I think it might have something to do with the fact you're still wearing my ring. Well, maybe it does. But I would never take this off. Because I know how much you love me. And I know now that I love you more than I ever thought possible. I thought we agreed that you weren't going to come over without calling first. I know. But I realize that I have been thoughtless and selfish. And can you open the door? And I'm sorry. Sorry and flowers aren't going to pay my bills, Jake. And I know that, too. That's why I brought you this. What is it? Open it. Now that I got some cash coming in, I figured the least I could do is start making some regular payments around here to help you out. Regular? Or is this my lucky day? <laughs> I know it's been hard. But, Madison, you have been amazing. Holding all this down while I've been out there trying to find myself. But now I finally hit pay dirt. Jake, this is not a game. You can't just throw overdue money at me and expect me to trust you again. No games. And I am sorry that it took me so long to do the right thing. But I miss you. I miss being with our kids. I just hope you can find it in your heart to let me make it up to you. And them. I wish I could believe you. But you have this terrible habit of saying one thing and doing the opposite. Not this time. I promise you can believe in me again. Well, thank you for the cash. It helps. You're welcome. Now, how about that dinner? Good night, Jake. I'll take that. So a little thing you did with your eyes there. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, I won't. I still know the house.
see you came back. Back? I never left. We slept in, and Alex out running a few errands. I promised to have an early dinner ready when he comes back. Got it. <laughs> I hope you do, because I'm not sure that whatever it is that you do around here is necessary anymore. Pretty sure your services are no longer needed. Okay, first of all, whatever I do around here is none of your business. And whether or not it's necessary is between me and Alec. Please tell him I stopped by. Yeah. Hey. Oh, honey, you're home. Yeah, um, I didn't expect you to still be here, but I'm glad you are. Guess what? What? I just found out I'm going to be featured on the cover of Act One magazine. Oh! Madeline, make a reservation for two at the Lobster Lounge. You know, I'm pretty sure you have a skill set beyond the supine position, so why don't you manage to make the reservation yourself? Good night, Alec. Congrats. Why did you talk to her like that? Why do you keep doing that? I don't know. I don't like her. You know what? This is making me wonder why I even let you stay here. Well, where else am I going to go? You know that I have no money and no home. I can't go back to Bo's. He'd probably kill me for trying to run away. Seriously. Okay, look, if that man is really hitting you, you need to call the police, not me. <laughs> Hell no. I can't call the police. The police idolize guys like him. They'll definitely believe his word over mine. All this is just reminding me of who you actually are. I need you to find somewhere else to go. I don't want to go anywhere else. Please, you can't just throw me out on the street like that. Okay, tell you what, give me the ring. I'll give you some money. You can get a place, get on your feet. No, not my ring. If it was about money, then I would have pocked it myself. This is all that I have left of our love. I mean, every time I look at it, I'm reminded that the greatest guy in the whole world loves me. Does he? <laughs> my brother's coming up from DC to help me get my things. Can I just stay a few more days? <laughs> A few days. That's it. Then you gotta find somewhere else to go. You can stay in the guest room. But aren't we still gonna celebrate? Yeah, there's a bottle of champagne in the refrigerator. Knock yourself out. Then she tried ordering me around like I'm the help. Uh-uh. Apparently they were engaged. Say what? Shut the front door. Don't tell me he's one of those black men that makes a little money and then only wants to spend it on some white chick. Lenny. Look, I'm just saying, out of all the fine sisters out here that's looking for a successful black man to marry and none of them are good enough? OK, listen, just because I'm biracial, it doesn't mean I don't empathize with my sisters who feel overlooked and unappreciated. But my real objection is the fact that this chick doesn't care about him. Mm -mm. You know, she's not interested in investing in the betterment of Alec. She's interested in what she can withdraw. Mm -hmm. A piece of his glory, a piece of his fame, a big old piece of his bank account. Mm. I don't understand why he can't see that. I know, right? I mean, I get where you're coming from, but I'm just saying. OK. Mm -mm. Nope. You're not taking that? It's Jake. He keeps showing up unannounced, calling, texting. Somehow he's got it in his head that we should get back together. It's so did no. I'm not going down that road. There's nothing there but pain and heartache. Mm -hmm. well, that's right. Well, speaking of pain and heartache, so Alec breaks up with this paparazzi chick, and now they back together. Because according to the other night, there was no doubt he has a thing for you. Oh, my gosh. OK, so I forgot to tell you. The other night, I'm over there working. We had a glass of wine together. And for like a hot second, we almost kissed. <laughs> I knew it. I told you he wanted you. I told you he was into you. OK, but we did it. <laughs> Nothing happened. I ran Ugh. out of there so fast, just like I did last night when she showed up. You know what? And I'm so glad that nothing happened, because I can't even imagine working for him, let alone anything else. OK, wait a minute, girl. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water just yet. Laney, he probably doesn't even want me around now that his little gold-digging Barbie doll is back. 
don't let Lola Bunny run you out of there before you figure out what's going on. I do have to return his key. There you go. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was at the gym when you called. What's happening? Thank you for coming. Um, I thought it best if we meet somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, I see. But why? Why couldn't it wait till tonight at my place? Uh, hey, can I get a cup of black coffee, please? Thank you. Well, your fiance. Ex. Ex fiance. Whatever. The point is, she made it very clear that my services were no longer needed. Did she? And wait, you, you just ran, ran with that? Without even talking to me? I'm talking to you now. Thank you. So, I'm returning your key. Okay. If that's what you really want. But can I ask you a question? Sure, but I'm just curious. What do you see in that woman? Well, I mean, do you think that she somehow legitimizes your excellence? Well, I mean, isn't it enough that you know your own growth, your own worth, your own value? My son didn't throw the first punch. He started it. Yeah, I hit him. He deserved it. It doesn't matter who punched who first. Jackie. Oh, honey, look at your face. You all right? I'm, I'm fine. Mr. and Mrs. Morris, kind of you to join us. Principal Lawrence. Look, we here at Bay Academy have a no tolerance policy for fighting. Kirk and Jackie had quite the squabble on the school grounds. Well, no, he sucker punched my son. Yeah, I didn't even do anything. Don't try Boys. to act out innocent. You know what you did. Boys, quiet. Now, apparently, Kirk teased a little girl in his class. He laughed at her and called her names because she had holes in her shoes. It was mean. Is that true, Kirk? So what if it is? He doesn't deserve to get violently attacked like that. Okay, but maybe if you taught your son a little compassion towards others less fortunate than him. Yeah? Like how you taught your little thug to beat up on other kids? Hey. Oh, did you just call my son a thug? Yeah, she fits. Hold on, man. Don't okay. talk to my wife. Hey. Just a minute. Now, this no tolerance policy, it applies to parents as well. Now, the boys will be suspended for three days. And I suggest you all go home and cool off. So, <sighs> what'd you say? I hope you told him that fighting is no way to get your point across. No, I told him that sometimes a man has to stand up for what's right. You encouraged him to fight? No, I encouraged him to be a man and fight for what he believes in. Madison, it's something you don't know. Okay, so tell me, what is it? You cannot let on that I told you this. I won't. Jackie's in love. The little girl with the holes in her shoes. <laughs> yes. He could not let her be embarrassed like that. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you talked to him because he probably wouldn't have told me. I guess Jackie needs his father right now. He needs both of us. Look. I want my family back. That's gotta mean something, right? Let me prove to you how much I've grown. At least in my cause, that's progress. <laughs> and Jackie is fine. Okay, so what's that? I was calling to see about dinner again. How about drinks? Okay, just drinks? I'll take what I can get. Talk later. Sometimes we rising, sometimes we falling. It's all a measure. You take the bad things, the good things. What's going on with you, Madison? I figured y'all be moving on a whole new level by now. Nah, just the opposite, actually. You know, she does have me feeling some kind of way, though. Yeah. Yeah, she. Smart and tough and still sweet and kind at the same time. Uh-oh. Sound like you got it bad. Yeah, I thought it was going a good direction too, but she, she pushed me away. 
Didn't help that Shelly showed up out the blue either. Oh, hell no. Shelly showed up? Yep. I know you done with that. Apparently she's not done with me. Look, whatever you do, man, I think you need to make your move on Madison. You don't want to wait too late. They say the good ones go fast. Before we get started, I want to raise a toast. To Chloe and Jackie. To us. I promise you won't have to carry the burden alone again. Well, I'll drink to that, because my shoulders could use a break. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like you could use one of my famous massages. <laughs> you know I used to make anything out of you after one of those. Hey, 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 not anything. Oh. It's confirmed. You need a refresher session. <laughs> anyway, um, tell me about your new artist. Is she really talented? Absolutely. And she is very, very much into me. I'm telling you, Madison, she can go all the way. Queen Bee, you better look out. <laughs> You're about to be dethroned. <laughs> okay. You laugh, but I'm this close to Booker and Wake Up America. Oh, wow. Yeah. And every act that books on that show, Breaks big. I'm telling you, if I can get fab on, I truly believe that you still love me. I mean, how could you not? See? The magic is still there. I'm a better man now. And I need you in my life. Come on, Maddie. Let's tell the kids our surprise. I'm surprised. They were back together. OK. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, um, let's see how this works first, OK? OK. As long as I know you still love me, I can wait a while. Just a little bit. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Five minutes, and I'm leaving. Right. Five minutes snooze. Hey, Danny. Hey. Here you go. Oh, thanks for dropping off the renewed permits. Yeah, no problem. I wish I could stay and help out, but I kind of snuck out of work, so I got to get back. Oh, I appreciate you getting them here. You know, with more families out on the streets these days, the place is busier than ever. Yeah, I know. It's really unfortunate. But I'm down to one job, so I should be able to come by and help out more often. Great. Excuse me? Hi. Hi, my name is Judy Holloway, and this is my daughter, Tasha. Tasha, I've seen you here before, haven't I? Yes, ma'am. Tasha tells me you help out families in need here. Yeah, what can we do? I'm in between jobs right now. And we need a place to stay, maybe something to eat. Yeah, well, that's what we're here for. We've been sleeping in my car. But uh, this morning, Tasha was at school while I was out looking for work. When I got back to the car, it was gone. Towed, stolen, or something with everything we had left inside. I didn't know what to do or where else to go, so I went and got Tasha out of school, and we came here. Well, Judy, I'm sorry to hear that. But please try not to worry, OK? Because you can stay as long as you need to. Now, if you'll come with me, I'll help you find a couple beds and something to eat. And Tasha, um, why don't you go and play with the other kids, and I'll bring your mom right back, OK? OK. We can't thank you enough. No problem. I'll see you guys later. Why are you still sitting here? Get your behind back to school. Yes, ma'am. I'll talk to you later. Look, she deserves to know the truth. Yeah, I'm not but why? I stuck my neck out I for didn't you. Ask You're you gonna make you things worse. You're just trying to get in trouble. Mom, I can, I can explain. explain. I, I was to trying tell to help. She was just okay, to... okay, stop. Stop. Jackie. 
Why did you lie to me about the money? No, he didn't get the chance to because... I was I... talking to your brother. Maybe a better question is, why didn't you tell me the truth when I asked? No, I was gonna tell you. Look, I'm sorry, Mom, but... Tasha and her mom, they've been in really bad shape, and things just kept getting worse for them, and I wanted to help. Yes, and that's exactly why you should have come to me. Their problems are way too big for you to handle on your own. Now, I understand why you took the coins, and I am very proud to have a son that cares, all right? But how you went about it is wrong. All right, I get it. And I'm very disappointed that you would let your sister take the blame. Chloe, did you know why Jackie was taking the money? No, but I did want Then you should have come to me too. Look, guys, a family is built on trust. So this has to be a place where truth and honesty can thrive. Now, the good news is your dad started contributing financially, so I'm going to let you keep taking this photography class. Really, Mom? Really? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I love yes, you. Yes, but you're still grounded. And so are you. All right. Do we understand why? OK. Deal. Deal. All right, come in. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. And I'm very proud of you. All right? What you did was not so bad. Sticking up for each other. All right? But don't lie to me. All right. Now go get ready for bed. Good night. Good night. Hey. Hey, baby. What's up? What are you doing? What's wrong, baby? What does it look like I'm doing? This. This is wrong. You gotta understand, this is not gonna happen. Well, it looks to me like it was already happening. God, this relationship was a mistake. How can you say that? The, the point is, I realize now that you are not the one. <laughs> right. Right, because I was the one when you were screwing my brains out every night and buying me this. Yeah, like I said, mistake. You never cared about me. All you ever cared about was the spotlight and the money, and the jewelry. That's just not true. Shelly, I'm not blind, okay? I need somebody who wants me for me. Somebody who actually cares when my whole world is crashing down around me. I need someone who can believe in me when I don't even believe in myself. I do believe in you, baby. I always have. Shelly, you stepped on my heart in my worst moment. If you think you can just waltz back in here and it's gonna be all good, I'm gonna forget about all that, then forget believing in me. You don't even know me. Of course I do. I know that you are one sexy woman. Stop it. This is what I'm talking about. We're not even on the same page. You don't have a clue who I am. As a black man trying to make it out here. I know all about that. I grew up poor too. See, this is what I mean. You have no clue. You, you equate black and poor? <laughs> this is over. You know what? Take it. Go get a hotel or whatever and wait for your brother there. And leave the ring.
guys ready? Where are we going and do I have to wear this? Yes, and you look very handsome. Okay, we're gonna go and we're gonna have a nice dinner. And then your dad and I will tell you about our big surprise. Wait, a surprise? What is it? If I tell you, does that make it a surprise? No. A surprise? Are you and dad going to buy me a car or something? Keep your bus fare, sweetheart, because you're going to need it. Ugh. Wait, we're going on vacation, aren't we? Is that it? Will you guys pull out your phones and look up the word surprise? Come on, give us a hint, please. I got your hint. Let's go. No, okay, guys, stand by. Hey, man, I know Frank and the network, they like to see sparks fly between us on air, but can't we just agree to disagree off air? What do you say? Nah, bro, I don't think so. We just disagree on everything. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. What's up with Dad? Isn't he coming? Oh, yeah, of course, sweetheart. I think he's just running a little late. Hey, put your napkin on your lap. Hey, there he is. Now we can get the dates on the big surprise. Hey, kids, I'm sorry I'm late. Something What's up, came Dad? Up. What's good? up, champ? Hey, Dad. Hey, princess. <laughs> hey, Madison, can we talk for a minute? Yeah, uh, of course. All right, listen, you two. Look at the menu, and you guys order something fun, okay? All right. Be right back. Right back. <clears throat> Look, I'm sorry, but I got an emergency. Jake, no, not tonight. Madison, I got it. I got it. Fab is booked on Wake Up America. <laughs> A spot opened up, and if we can get to LA by tomorrow and do sound check and rehearsal, Fab will get her shot. So you're running out on us? No, no. No, don't. Don't don't you see? This is it. This is the break I've been waiting for. And once again, everything is more important than your family. Jake, those kids. What's up? Uh, well, the last time we spoke, it was uh, pretty acrimonious. Mm -hmm. And I just want to let you know. I heard you, and Shelly and I are done. Really? What was that? Mom! Mom! What, honey? Come quick, I'm a What's up with the ambulance? Oh, my God, Tasha. Baby, I'm here. <laughs> Jackie, what happened? Some kids were playing around with a gun, and it went off on accident. And Tasha just dropped, and the people with the gun kept running. Where's the ambulance? Has anybody called the ambulance? I already called twice. I need something to tie off her leg. Here, use my shirt. Where is that damn ambulance? It hurts. <laughs> There's a hospital around the corner. Come here. Come here, let me get up. <laughs> Information you're gonna you, be okay. Please. You're gonna be okay. Are you related to the patient? No, 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 no. She was just shot. Uh, no ambulance came, so I just got here as quick as I could. Name? <sighs> Alec Darby. No, I meant the name of the patient. Oh, uh, uh, T Tasha, I think. Last name, age? Uh, I don't know all of that. Look, she was laying in the street. I just got her here. <laughs> Where is she? Is she okay? Oh, calm down, miss. Calm down. Are you the young girl's mother? Yeah. How is she? What did the doctor say? Is she gonna be all right? They didn't say anything. They just took her back there. But she was conscious, so thank God for that. Sweetheart, listen to me. Jackie, I'm sure they're gonna do everything that they can, all right? Hey, Mr. Darby, thanks. You were something. I mean, you were like Superman the way you just picked up Tasha and started running.
do want to monitor for a couple more days, and uh, I anticipate a full and speedy recovery. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Can I, uh, can I see her? Yes. Beware, she's still a little groggy. Hey, can I come too? I think I'll be fine. Alec, how can I ever thank you? You don't have to thank me. Mr. Darby, don't go getting all modest on me now. <laughs> you were extraordinary. Yeah, yeah, baby, you give me something special.